What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Frostpunk. We are here choosing our path. So we can either go with order and discipline and faith and spiritual strength. I think I'm going to go with order and discipline. Let's see what we can do. Neighborhood watch. We need to mobilize, stand together and help people to protect themselves. Sorry, them from troublemakers. We get a watchtower. Uh, we need to build two of those, apparently. So we're going to go ahead and sign the Neighborhood Watch. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and are excited to be back in Frostpunk as we are a little on the, the light side for food here. Got 102, that'll get us through a day, but the temperature is going to drop. And uh, we are currently researching the generator efficiency upgrade. That'll definitely help. Um... And then maybe we'll work on the range upgrade, maybe? Eh, we'll see. But we need to build a couple watchtowers. Uh, oh, there's an order tab now. Okay. So, watchtower, I guess, over on this side. We'll do one on the opposite side, I guess? Seems fairly reasonable. Um, can I tuck it anywhere? Is there any kind of small little... No. You guys are a little on the large side, so apparently it's going to go live there. That'll be okay, I think. Hope could be better. Meanwhile, you guys are just chilling, aren't you? Oh. Freshwater Springs, Coal Mine, and the American Camp. Um... How about the freshwater springs? We can see distant glimmers of the sun reflected on the surface of water. Unfrozen water points to the presence of a freshwater spring. So can we move you guys over here and take a look to see what's there? Okay, so last time we also added in the ability to... Uh, get more coal because we're going to need it. People are unconvinced and want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You will say order will save us? Nonsense. What? Are, what? We're going to orderly decide who to eat first when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like winter home. I can tell you right now who I want to start eating first, and it's going to be you. Calm down, we're not going to die. Uh, people are divided. Some are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain peace, and give people hope. I can do that. Maybe. There are 15 Londoners. Tendency is a lot more people are going to join. Uh, you guys are... Oh, they are still building the, the watchtowers. That's fine. Okay, so I need people... Nope, that's not people. We'll throw, apparently, engineers in because that's what we have. As promised, we've built and manned watchtowers. Um, Book of Laws is still kicking along. Interesting purpose. Uh, morning gatherings? What's this going to do for us? We'll slightly raise the hope from time to time. Okay, I can get behind that. Guard stations. Discontent will slightly rise. Uh, use guards to break up protests. Raise the hope of people living nearby interesting so morning gatherings are definitely going to be kind of something we look at once uh the day goes past adaptation maybe we build a fighting arena it reduces discontent maybe that'll allow people to you know beat the crap out of uh others who want to uh want to leave your labors, although if they just want to go to London why aren't we letting them go to London I mean just 
if you're willing to walk all the way back to London. Okay. Uh, we got bunkhouses, didn't we? We did. So, 10 steel, 12 wood. So maybe we start from the outside and work our way in. Apparently to there. Are we still... We should be still... So the sawmill is okay. Steelworks is okay. Uh, there's 10 people there. Uh, it's a little on the chilly side. So maybe we, after we research that, we research heaters. Like workplace heaters. And why is our coal still dropping the way it is? Sir, people who want to leave have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are easily persuaded. They have little hope for our ultimate survival. Holy cow, we're up to 28. That's a chunk of people. Uh, let's go ahead and explore the freshwater springs nearby. Near the freshwater springs, we meet some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away and mumble about something about lynchins. Um, let's go ahead and just escort them because we do have some additional stuff. So we'll escort everybody back and then we will continue on from there. Uh, I kind of am very concerned about our coal situation here. So, the temperature dropped. However, conditions are still livable. Uh, working workplace conditions are not good. So, that's going to have to be something we need to contend with sooner rather than later. Okay, efficiency has been upgraded. Can I go ahead and max that? And how about eaters? Uses one coal per hour. So currently we're looking one and two, right? And it's only 10 hours, so it's essentially 20 coal. I think that's okay. I think that's kind of doable. Uh, let's run it at regular speed. Uh, you are chilly. We might need a heater in here as well if that is something that we can do. Don't actually know. Uh, food, I feel, is also a little bit of an issue. We may need to switch to soup. Uh, having another steam core, I think, would allow us another... to build another hothouse, which might be a good thing to do. I wonder if there is... another better hothouse. Uh, Sir Child climbed the generator slipped and fell but thankfully was caught by the neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby he escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchmen we're lucky to have them absolute do y'all still want to go to london no okay apparently yes See, you guys are very cold. That's a problem. And I think that's lowering the efficiency of the, uh, the area. Uh, what am I looking for? Tech? 
You are three coal per hour. I mean, I could put you, like, here. And that would kind of cover all of that. So maybe we go ahead and build that. And warm up kind of this area a little bit. It's going to cost us three more coal per hour, though. Again, 99%. Somebody doesn't want to spend an extra 10 minutes to, uh, to hang out. So this we can switch to working hours. I think that'll be fine. Because then we don't have to worry about it overnight. Oh, I like how it fills in overnight. And the generator shutting down. And here is a problem. I'm struggling getting coal and keeping coal stored. Um I mean do we do we do range upgrade? See, again, don't know coal mine versus coal thumper. The thing with the coal thumper is the... We're getting the coal extracted. We're not storing the coal. Since our storage capacity can't be built in place of an existing resource depot. Which we currently have. A couple. But again, it's not a production issue. It's a s moving from A to B issue. Hothouse installation. There is an industrial hothouse down here in 3. Uh, let's increase hunting tactics, or do we want to do flying hunters? Up to 30 raw food, let's go with that. Uh, meanwhile, can I turn the generator back on? We have a little bit of coal, yeah. See, we've got 15 here at the coal pile. I don't know why it's cold. I mean, there's no heating element, right? Okay, the scouts have returned. We've got three steam cores. Um, so we're at 100% efficiency. It's chilly. I mean, if we do that, and we'll turn that one on, and we'll definitely turn this one on. It helps a little bit, but not much. Maybe, because it did say that it's enough coal for two of the gathering posts, right? Did I... Did I did I read that correctly? Enough for two gathering posts. Conceivably, we need four gathering posts. Is that the way I should be interpreting this? Because we do have 34 people that are idle. Uh, Book of Laws. Okay, let's get the morning gathering in place. What was next to the morning gathering? Foreman. Increases efficiency of a workplace by 40% for 24 hours. Okay. Uh, guard stations. Raises the hope of people. Maybe we work on a guard station next to kind of uh, get people a little bit more 
what's the word I want? Comfortable with uh, life? Oh, hold on. Uh, you. You're back in the city. There's a lot of places we can go, but why don't we uh, just venture over to the American King? Several big tents, no signs of life. Okay. So we're getting two other gathering posts. The flying hunters have been researched. So let's go to food. Hunter's hangar 40. We don't have the steel for this. Okay. Um, it's for an hour. Is there a better way to do steel? Steel. There's the steel steamworks. Use steam power to extract iron ore quicker. So let's go ahead and research that. That'll get us some more steel a little bit faster. Hope is rising up. The lunder the tendency is not as high as it was before. Night is coming. Put down your Hold the phone. Because there are homeless people that I just realized. Uh, people are concerned about the low temperature. We will... Do we dare heat all of them? It's 12 homes for two days. We need the hope, so let's push for it, shall we? Okay. We are currently paused. Can you tell me which it's the interior ones the bunk houses are okay everybody else is a little on the chilly side uh range can i oh i can what does that do that is 12 plus two heat Two temperature in all zones, 200% coal consumption. Let's, can we, can I take that back? Go back to one. Um, let's go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it is all the houses at this point. And we need to get... Yeah, just those 12. Got it. Okay. We will get there. Hold on. Let's max you. You are not built yet. And we can max that one as well. And that might get us some more coal to get us through these cold nights. And hunger is a problem. But we got three of the 12. We just had our morning meeting. Get going. Time to okay, we are raking in coal now. So adding the other gathering posts definitely was the thing. Since we are raking in coal, can I go ahead and do that? And we'll go ahead and let this run for a second. And pause. Steam. Steelworks has been researched. Um. Do we want to do the range, or do we want to do upgrade this further? Let's go ahead and do the range. I think that's distance. But if we take a look here, having the second level does put everybody into livable. Uh, you guys. Oh. Okay, so the medical post we can turn on, but it is already currently in livable conditions, so I think we're okay with that. We 
still are going to need some places for people to live. I'm tempted to just do some tents kind of in this area. And that'll get people there. We need... Pretty sure it was 40 steel, wasn't it? For the... Nope, not the hothouse. The hunter's hangar. But there was an industrial hothouse. But I think it was in level 3. So we might need to just go ahead and uh, jump to that next, I think. Because food's going to kind of become an issue sooner. Uh, you have arrived somewhere at the American camp. Not a living soul, just dozens of emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees fitted with prosthesis. Go ahead and explore. Well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Interesting. Um, there's a temporary shelter. Maybe we uh, send you guys on. Uh, you are almost built. We need roads, don't we? Yeah. We'll take a, a road there. You guys can, you know, get to your house. Uh, someone has defaced the walls, predicting, predicting doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear we will share Winterhome's fate. Uh, let's go ahead and remove it. Okay. Guard station might be the way to go. Let's go ahead and sign for the guard station. We need and build and man two guard stations. Fifteen are being treated. Food is a problem. Food is definitely a problem. What do I need for guard stations? Twenty and ten. Hold on. Do I need to build you? Or that's... Where is it? There it is. Oh, you are adjacent. Got it. Well, we'll take the walkway over there, I guess. Hanger. I. Oh. Is that just an upgrade? Wait a sec. Could I have just upgraded this one? Or did I just build a total separate one for no reason? Well, I guess two are better than none? I, I don't know. We do have three. So hold on, let's... We got the range upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade. I don't have the... Steel. Well, that's a problem. Steam coal thumper. Just increases the amount. That's four gathering posts. I think we're kind of okay with where we're at. I think. I don't actually know. Gathering post insulation might actually be a smart thing to do. We'll go ahead and <laughs> upgrade the sawmill. You are waiting. 
Settlement seems to have been abandoned. Tiny wooden shacks are completely empty. And an upright boulder stands at its center. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its roughly planed face, someone chiseled the words... May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress. For we can. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we'll dismantle the huts for wood. Okay, there is a walled colony. Let's go ahead and uh, investigate the walled colony, and then we might bring the people back. Uh, still need two guard stations. We don't have any steel right now. Uh, you... Let's go ahead and crank up the heater in there. You guys can work a little bit better, I guess. Not much. So, we're livable, so we just got to maintain that. Oh, it's going to drop another two levels. I think each level is... 20 degrees, so minus 80. Uh, another act of vandalism. We'll go ahead and remove it again. Need to build guard stations. So... And it has to be near where people are living. Uh, I guess here... And I'm kind of thinking over here. Uh, I'd like one more in the middle, but we don't really have uh, space for one in the middle. But food is quickly becoming a problem. Captain, members of the neighborhood watch were removing when they were assaulted. We should do something... We need guards to secure the streets. So we're going to get the guard towers built. We've got people. Should be warm. So that should also boost things a little bit. Alright, so... Five. Um, we are lacking people. A little on the problematic side. I don't actually know where I should be getting people from. That's the infirmary. Don't want to do that. Uh, I was looking for you? Yes. Uh, I really don't want to pull from the steelworks. Uh, let's do five here. Uh, that'll get us... They've been built and manned. The majority still support our decision. Hope is rising. Discontent is dropping. Livable home should be able to boost us a little bit more as well. Uh, numerous snow shelters expertly built from blocks of hard-packed snow. Death hangs over the colony. Some exiles are still alive, just barely. We could try bringing them to the city, although they might die along the way. The one of the dying held a diary to his chest. The last entry read, Exiled from Tesla City. With food and fuel running out, we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. This refers to those poor Yanks we buried. Let's go ahead and escort them to the city. And I... We pulled the dying exiles, some stirred from their death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth, not yet. No, no, tell them the truth out there. Not whenever you guys get back to, uh, back here. I think I'm going to use one of the steam cores to get another food processing plant. Uh, that's health. So another hot house. No time to waste. We've got work to do. Would actually go nicely right here. But I think we'll just shift it over here. 
It's a little far from that one. But we definitely need the food. Hunter's Hangar, where are you? Um, can I flip to soup? For no other reason than we are going to need it. Uh, oh, well, that's neat. A little blimp came down. Um, I'm going to trim... Two, I think, off each of these. Because then we'll be able to immediately put them to work with food. Sawmill upgrade has been researched, and we're going to go ahead and start... No, we're not. <laughs> Eventually, we will get enough steel that we can start a new research. But let's finish up the work day here. There we go. Now we can research it. So you guys are on your way back with a bunch more people. We'll be able to kind of fill things in. Uh, you. We can... Oh, range is already set for two. Okay. Everything is livable for the most part. You're not. Uh, that's the depot. I can't... Oh, well, I guess not. Uh, you are still under construction. You promised warmth, you delivered. Hell yeah. Okay, you are... Let's go ahead, Max. We'll go ahead and turn the heater on. And we'll... Max that. In fact, give me... One more of... From each of these. And then we can just kind of... Crank that up. And hopefully that'll start producing more food. We're at 100. But people are hungry. Nobody's starving, but people are hungry. So I think I'm going to just leave it at soup for a minute so that we can get people fed. And now we're out of food. But I think this is also going to be a good place to leave this episode. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in Frostpunk. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Uh...